And my 10th thing, this is tough. I know it's hard, but never compare yourself or your dog to others. Always keep your objectivity where your dog and yourself are concerned. Never look and judge your dog or yourself because that's when you're going to miss things. If I had said, oh, this just isn't going to be a great agility dog. She hates to fail. She's sensitive. She doesn't have the drive for the sport. She doesn't really care for anything except chasing her mother. I wouldn't have kept looking for reasons why she was struggling. And when I found nutrition, it was like I had a new dog. So you need to not compare yourself to other handlers, not compare your dog to other dogs, but look at what you've got and keep going through the check boxes of what is it that I may be missed so far that I could get better? What can I focus on? And you might be just focusing on one thing a month. I recognize you all have busy lives. Just work on improving one thing a, a month, but you want to be what I like to call a lifelong learner. You want to be a sponge to, to constantly be moving towards a different place than you are now. But that different place should not be in comparison to somebody else because then here's what I've observed. People leave the sport because it's an unfair comparison. If you look at where you were a year or five years ago in the sport of agility and look at where you are now and go, wow, I'm not the same handler at all. That is going to keep you motivated to keep improving. But when you look at where you are compared to maybe where somebody else is that started with you, they may be on world teams already and you're, you're not, but you want to be. That could be frustrating. And you're going to find that we don't want to say we are lacking. So then we look at, oh, I need a new dog. You're just not good enough. Or you're not cutting it. Or you need to be better at this. You know, th there's an old t-shirt that I used to have that uh, was a big dog t-shirt that said, Com comparison is the thief of dreams. I don't know where that line came from. Maybe it came from the big dog company. But it is absolutely true. You're going to find more joy in the sport if you keep looking at the healthy gap, and that is where you were and where you are now, and keep having goals for yourself, but those goals should not be related to what anyone else is doing. I would